Welcome back, everybody. It's Friday. That means Pets Without Partners. Join us from the Octibaha County Humane Society. It's Christy and Diane. <laughs> Woohoo! Aren't you so excited? It's July 1st. We're going into the July 4th weekend. It's a happy time for humans. Not such a good time for our pets because of the fireworks. Is that right? Who wants to talk about it? That is that is right. Fourth of July, we have more pets come in our shelter than any other day of the year. Um, we encourage people to keep their pets um, indoors, especially during times of fireworks. I know y'all are celebrating um, fireworks tonight in Columbus. So I mean, I, I would encourage people, especially throughout the weekend, mm -hmm. to keep their critters close to them. Mm -hmm. You really have to keep them kind of locked up, right? Mm -hmm. and, you know, make sure that they're safe inside. And restrained. Is that right? Am I saying it? I, you tell. I would. I would find like a place, like a, a quiet, dark place where they can't. Um, something to kind of drown out the noise. We do recommend having um, identific identification on your pet that is current, as well as a picture, just in case they do go missing. And and as well as um, you could play like the radio or a TV if you're not going to be there with them to kind of help drown out some of that noise. Okay. Diane, you've got a beagle. Oh, oh, two-year-old beagle. Oh. Jack. And he's just terrific. Uh, he has uh, had heartworms, and we've put him through the treatment. So whoever adopts him, if it's uh, current, would need to let him kind of be a little less active for about a month because of the treatments. But he's good to go. We caught it early. <laughs> you see that he does have an interest in everything, a yeah. nose you would not believe. Yeah. But he's a sweetie. Yeah. He is a sweetie. You can see his tail good, here. Good looking little fella, too. Yeah. He's good in playing in the backyard. I think he'd be excellent with children who are very active. Let them wear each other out yeah. well, we've <laughs> in got the backyard. This cute little kitty cat. How old is this cat? I love this little guy. This he's is neat. Look at, look at him. <laughs> he's playing with me. Look at this. This is Cade. He's about three months old. Yeah. He came into our shelter um, with his mom and his other five siblings, and he's been with us for quite some time, but he is now ready to fund his forever home. Aww. And you have a cat special, right? We actually have an everything special everything right now. Special. We, we have a, a large number of dogs and cats right now, and so everybody is on special. Yeah. Um, you have two events coming up, too, Christy. Tell us about those. We do. Um, so our next event that we're having, it is our celebrity wait night, and it's at Harvey's in Startville, and it's July the 12th. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Let's mm -hmm. talk about that. Okay. Um, so we'll have um, celebrities from our community. Um, I know Andrea is going to be there that night, and um, so all of the tips from the, the event will go um, directly towards us. Awesome. It's been a huge fundraiser, and we use it for the treatment of the dogs and cats at the shelter, so it's a big benefit to be able to get more medicine and some medical treatment and mm -hmm. actually feed them. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> well, what's the other event? Um, our next event also, um, it's our sixth annual dog paddle. Okay. And um, it's August the 6th, and August. that's a Saturday. And um, we invite our community members, along with their pets, to come and swim in the pool at, at Mon Creek Park in Starville. How fun could that be? All right, for more information about the events, or please, is, is, uh, some of you out there, get down to the shelter, pick up a nice dog or cat. 338-9093. Keep your pets safe tonight and through the weekend as the fireworks go off. We've got more midday coming up after the break. Thank you, too, very much. Thank you. Oh.